So the connection to the database is perfectly done on our .env file. Now we know about the migrations, how they are going to work and what they do. They simply create the table on your database. And yes, we have the user table here. But the point is how we can create something to connect with the database and save something inside the database and doing the things oppositely. So I'm going to tell you a cool feature of Laravel. So let's just start a server. So I will say PHP artisan serve, hit enter. Then I will go to the local host 8000, local host 8000. So every website need authentication of user. Like every website must have login and registration system. So this point that every website must have whenever you are having something which is going to repeat in every project why not create a shortcut to have everything like authentication system login and registration system we are going to use again and again for every website that's why Laravel provide you a command again a very good command so I think you know that PHP artisan has cool list of commands so here in this command list there is a command again with using the make and called make auth i think you guessed it right it will create the login and registration system on your website in just a minute or i can say in just a second so once i type a uh, php artisan make auth and as soon as i hit enter it will create login and registration system so now we are not having any login and registration button and let me open web.php remember web.php file will be inside uh, routes folder and then web.php which is going to create the routes so you can see it just have one route and also in our resources views where every view are there we are not having any view but now let's hit enter and run this command as soon as I run this command you can see we have two new route automatically added to this web.php file and there are some folder and files for views and if I now go here refresh this page you can instantly see now at the right top we have a login and registration button and if I go to login that means if I click here Yes, you can see we have a simple login form. Similarly, we have a simple registration form also. So is that connected to database? Is that going to work? Absolutely right. So if I type here details and I'm trying to register, let's say register. And once I click on the register, you can see I am logged in I am actually registered and I can simply log out from here and that means now we, we are registered so I can easily log in click on the login yes login is there so just by using one single command you can create instantly login and registration system and this proves that our connection to the database is perfectly done because now we have this data on our table and name email email verified is null for now password you can see password is encrypted that's very nice and then created at updated at all these things are filled with just running this command and registering also registering obviously <laughs> so this is very nice and this proves that our connection to the database is done our table is working very fine and we have a new system to create a login and registration system so this is the way how we can add value to your project how Laravel actually add value to your project and it minimizes your time your effort and obviously your money because time is money so we will meet in the next episode and if you want to learn more advanced stuffs and work on real project then head over to bitfumes.com courses section where you will have 
all my udemy courses and some of the premium courses just for this website you can unlock everything by subscribing to this website with a minimum amount and then you will enjoy ad free and hello hi free videos and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye